everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shayla. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I know I've been on a slight hiatus um, from filming and uh, bringing content to y'all, um, but I am back. Um, I had a little bit of a snag. Um, my arm that holds my phone broke and then I got another one in that I'm currently using. Um, however, I am going to have to send this one back because it is not working how I intended. So we're going to just roll with it today. Um, I am bringing you guys, if you couldn't tell by the title, another haul video. Um, so I'm sure you're excited about that one. I know y'all love the hauls. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. Okay. So um, I picked up some things from Austin Creative Reuse, um, which I talk about quite often here. <laughs> if you're new here, um, it is a nonprofit um, that has, um, it's a reuse store. They also offer uh, workshops, um, you know, volunteer opportunities. It's just a super great place. Um, so I go there more than I'd like to admit. Um, <laughs> um, and of course, I always find great things. So let's jump into it. Okay, so this it stuff is from Austin Creative Reuse. Um, I do have a pretty large haul today um, that I've accumulated over the past couple of weeks. So we'll see if we can get it all done. Um, you know, some of them are multiple trips to the same places, but um, enough talking. I'll just show you what I got. So um, first thing I picked up is this cute little um, three ring binder. Um, it is Russell and Hazel. Um, it does have a little kind of, I guess it's peeling up right here, but that's perfectly fine. It's in great condition. Um, but I thought this could be a good book to use for storing my stickers in. Um, so like my single sheets. So I got this and it's a cute little size too. Um, up next, I got this, uh, Texas A&M. Um, it is just paper. Um, I think it's just, you know, like letterhead kind of paper, but it has all these neat, hopefully you can see it. It has all of these neat, um, I guess like depictions of different things that are, um, you know, near and dear to Texas A&M. Um, and this is actually for a journal that I'm going to start making, um, here in a little bit for somebody. So, um, I thought these were really neat. I had never seen anything like them. Um, and it looks like there's a bunch of different designs as well. And that one was $1.50, so not bad. Um, okay, we'll do this one last in this little pile. Um, so this is, I thought this was really neat. It was a dollar. Um, it says the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas. And if you can't tell, it is a bunch of shredded up money, which I thought was really interesting. And I guess, um, from what it says, the Federal uh, Reserve Bank of Dallas removes worn out bills from circulation, destroys them, and issues new ones. So this is kind of, I guess, um, all of those bills that are out of circulation now. So I thought this was really neat. I could use this for like a shaker card or something. Just something fun and unique to play with. I don't know. It caught my eye and I couldn't leave without it. So I got that. Um, and then I got um, these, which are pretty amazing. They're all brand new. Um, Tim Holtz, which is, I'm sure if you are familiar with mixed media or junk journaling, you probably know of the name. <laughs> pretty popular. Um, these were a dollar. They are, it says they're little tag labels. So um, you put the label on uh, in here and then there's some like epoxy little stickers that go over it, but it makes these adorable little tags, which I thought might be cute little journal charms. And I guess apparently they were $10 originally, so that's pretty amazing. Um, these were $3, I think. I'm not sure why, maybe because these are a little bigger, um, but essentially it's the same thing. So it says cash keys. They're just little um, charm holders, and then there's some you know, things to put in them. And I'm sure there's some sort of like sticky sheets in the back um, to put over it. But same idea, these were also $10, um, but these were $3, so. And then still a really good deal, so I did not mind at all. Um, I don't even see these in the store, so I don't know if 
these are even still made, um, but these are really cool. And then these are um, little cards, like journal cards. They were $2, but they are absolutely, I did take a sneak peek at them. They are so cool. So the back are these really neat kind of old cabinet card designs, which I thought was super cool. Um, ooh, that one's really pretty. And the front, so let's see here, make sure you can see them. Um, are these just really nice like vintage photos. I'm always drawn to the photos where people are smiling because of course I think back then you know you weren't supposed to smile or it just was not like you know if you're taking a formal picture you kind of just look straight ahead you know. <laughs> so um, I always think the ones you know where someone's smiling is interesting. Um, but there is a ton of them kind of showing you those. And I hope I'm not going too fast. We had those people, looks like on their wedding day maybe. Some people at the beach. We have all these dapper, dapper men. <laughs> but I just thought these were so, so neat. And these are great as is to tuck into something. Oh, she's pretty, she's a little red. Um. Little family. Guy has a crazy mustache. <laughs> uh, I mean, super, super cute. So I don't know. I just thought these were, you know, really adorable. I thought I could definitely either sew around them. Um, you know, I could add embellishments or I could just leave them as is. But something super cute. Look at him, man. He looks like he was, you know, he's been in a war or something. Um, but yeah, so there was 24 of those, which is a pretty good deal. Um, moving on here. Okay, and then um, I got these. These are gourd pins or bulb pins, um, whatever you want to call them, but essentially they're the safety pin that has kind of like a bulb end. Um, and these are good for making journal charms. Ooh, that one's open. But these are good for making journal charms. So I thought these were, it was a pretty good deal. I forgot how much I paid for this. A dollar. Um, and they were $8 originally, it looks like. And I have some of these, but I only have them in the bronze. So these were kind of some nice different colors that I don't have. So good find on that. And then last but not least, um, this big guy. So it was $4. It comes in this gorgeous, gorgeous antique box. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's, this is 40 tissue lined envelopes. So when I opened this, I was like, I have to have it. And that's because the envelopes in itself got some extra bits that aren't supposed to be in there. Um, let me see here. I can take these out. Okay. And I know this paper is older, so I'm just being gentle with it. So it comes with all of these, um, which are kind of like a vellum tracing paper, which I thought was super neat. Um, and it has a really beautiful, as you can see, floral pattern. I just thought these were absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what I'll do with them yet. Um, but I mean, you get a whole entire stack, two stacks actually. And then at the bottom, this must have been like a vintage, maybe wedding invitations or something. That's what I think of. But then at the bottom, there are all these envelopes and they're also made of that like kind of tracing paper and they have, hopefully you can see that but they do have like a very faint floral design on the inside, like a liner. Um, these are definitely older, so you probably can't tell too much. You can kind of see it. Hopefully, maybe you can see it. <laughs> um, but they're made of this really nice crinkly paper. Um, 
and I mean, there's a ton of them. It, this doesn't even look like it's been used. So this was a super great find. I always love finding unique papers um, to use, and I don't have any kind of envelopes. They remind me of glassine envelopes. Um, so I'm excited for that. <laughs> so, okay, moving on, let me grab my, na my next stack of things um, and I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So, um, I grabbed another stack of things also from another trip to Austin Creative Reuse. <laughs> I'll try if I remember where everything came from, I'll let y'all know as well as the prices as always. Um, but I'm going to start from my right and then I'll work my way to the left because I have two piles over here. Um, so I got this. This is kind of a neat little collectible that I don't, I'll probably, it'll probably just live in my craft room. Um, but it is a little coin bank and it's, I love Lucy, which is so, so cute. Um, and then the bottom has little feet. So technically it's supposed to stand up. I know you can't see it, but it's supposed to look like a television. So super, super cute. It just opens up. It is a little collectible tin. I probably won't put change or anything in it, but I have a little spot on a shelf that it can live. So I thought that would be a cute addition to my room. So I got that. It was a dollar. Um, and then I found this. Um, see, Austin Creative Reuse. <laughs> it was 25 cents. Um, but I thought this would be really pretty on a journal cover. Um, it is just kind of like an applique, um, you know, embroidered piece. Definitely probably machine embroidered from what it looks like to me. But... I just thought it was super cute. You could wrap it around the spine of a journal. Um, that was kind of my intention for it. I haven't really thought of anything past that. So, <laughs> but 25 cents, pretty good deal. And I loved the color, the blue color. Okay. And then um, these were 75 cents. They are just some book corners. So, let me open these up for y'all so you can see. And I do have some book corners, but not a ton. I just got a pack off of Amazon um, that had a bunch of different ones in it. And I will say not all book corners are made equal though. They seem like they're nice quality. But basically they just go over the cor corner of your book and then you fold them over. Um, and that just gives your book one, a little bit extra stability in the corners. Um, because you know, over time they do bend and things. But two, um, it also kind of gives it a nice like decoration finished look. Um, so I really like the book corners. I probably put them on most journals that I make because I just think they look really nice and they make it look kind of antique. You know, you have kind of a mixed media thing going on there with like the paper and the metal. Um, so I just think they give a really, really cool look. So book corners. So I got those. Let me attempt to put them back in here. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll be all over the place. Okay. And then um, I picked up this. I don't know how much I was charged for this. I'd probably imagine like a dollar or two. Um, but it is called Exceeding Great and Precious Promises. Um, and the one, the box, I, I was drawn in by the box and it felt heavy. And I was like, there must be paper in here. And of course I was right. So they're actually little um, quotes from the Bible. It's kind of like, you know, where you read a quote a day type thing. Um, but I thought these were so neat. It'd be so neat to tuck these into a journal. Um, you know, sometimes if I'm making journals like for people I'm not familiar with, maybe not tuck these in because I know not everyone has the same beliefs. Um, but I mean, these are just vintage and they feel, they feel how a hanging file folder feels. So they're kind of just like a cardboard folder feel, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but I just thought these were so, so neat. Um, you know, if anything, they're just vintage. It's kind of like a piece of history. Um, so I thought these would be neat, but. I mean, just, and they're different colors too. I mean, you can just tell they're old. It does not have a date on here of, I did look for that. I was like, how old are these? Um, but they are definitely older. 
and then that's kind of like the instructions I guess on how you can use um, all the little quotes and things in here. So there's that. It's shedding a little bit. Um, okay, and then moving on, I'll get this big guy out of the way. It was a dollar. So this is actually, I think it's a purse. It has pockets, but it did not have any handles. And I was like, well, I could do that. Anyone could just put some fabric um, in here <laughs> and call it a day. So, you know, an easy little DIY project for me to do. Um, but I thought it was super cute. I thought this would be a neat like little travel pack for journaling supplies. That was my intention for it. And I don't know why I'm just drawn. To, I was just drawn to it. Sometimes that happens. So I got this as well. And then moving on here. Okay, so we have some things and some bags. Um, I'll start with one that looks the least bulky. This is 50 cents. Of course, I got it for the vintage bingo cards. So, and there's not too many in here. Um, but I just thought these would be really neat to do something with. Make like a giant journal card. You could even put these on a cover. Um, that would be actually kind of cool. So, you could make these as like little dividers, like for sections in your journal. Um, that would be a good idea. I mean, you can make these into pot, like giant pockets that you can tuck something into. Um, so there's lots of options. You could even cut them, you know, like cut just one row um, and make like a belly band out of it. So the ideas are endless on what you can do. Um, so I thought these were really cool. I don't usually find a lot of vintage bingo things. I'm always on the lookout though, because I do like them. Um, and then I guess this might be just the game pieces for it. Oh, wow. Um, it's a lot of things. So it looks like maybe this is someone, someone made some game pieces here, <laughs> but that's okay. And then we have these little red, I guess these are the original ones, little wooden pieces. And there's some random little other things like beads, some little white beads and this looks like a peg from like Battleship or something. So lots of, I don't know what I'll do with this stuff, but the bingo cards were a score. So I'd pay 50 cents for those. <laughs> we'll put those back for now. If anything, I guess you get like a vintage little box out of it. Okay. All right, so we got that one. Um, this one I thought was neat. It was $2, but I just saw the cards and I was like, what is this? Um, apparently I guess it's a game of sorts and I'm sure there was probably a game board at one point, but maybe not when it was donated or whatever. Um, but there's all these little cards, great little things to tuck into journals um, yeah, how many pounds are there in a ton? What cartoonist created little, little Abner? What cartoon created Mickey Mouse? Cartoonist, I'm sorry. How many points are there on, on the star of a sheriff's badge? These are interesting. So those are like exam questions, I guess. And then we have luck questions. Let's see what these are. I haven't read these, so <laughs> hopefully, I mean, it's a kid's game, so I'm hoping that everything is fine. <laughs> I never intend to show anything that's like offensive or anything like that. I know the nature of buying old things, sometimes that is in the mix, unfortunately. It is a piece of history, but we move on. Um, so hopefully this is fine because it's a kid's game. <laughs> we'll see. Um, okay, so for good study habits, advance five desks. That's funny. Okay, what's another luck one? Let's just see. <laughs> yes, you may leave the room and go back three desks. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, for chewing gum in the classroom. <laughs> For working so hard on your studies, advance five desks. That's so funny. 
Okay, so these are little game cards. Neat. I'm going to have to read through these later because those are pretty funny. Um, and then we have some game pieces, which I don't know what I'll do with yet, but they are pretty cool looking. So I'll probably keep them. We have, we have mommy and daddy. <laughs> um, we have little Susie. Oh, we have the butch. Okay. Um, we have cowboy Joe and we have sis. That's so funny. And then last but not least, we have brother and Bonnie. That's so cute. These are cute little, I don't know, little, um, they remind me of the Guess Who game, the little game pieces. Those are really cute. And then last but not least, we have the, I guess, an, oh, triple quiz book. Oh, okay, it has the answers to all the questions. That's kind of cool. Let's see if, let's just look at one. Um, okay, states, uh, how many eyes does a flounder have? One. That's pretty cool. I don't know, does it have a date? Let's see if it has a date. Okay, 1966. So that's when this game was, I guess, made. But that's pretty cool. This is actually a go to the head of the class. That's what the game is. So some neat little game pieces there. Some little vintage ephemera stuff. Okay. And then um, last but not least in this next little chunk, I, we're not done yet. We still have a good amount to go. So hold on to your seat belts. Um, so this is a lace and trim kind of grab bag. It's $2. I have not looked in it. I was kind of looking through the bag at some of the embroidered pieces and that's what led me to purchase it. So that's why I got it. So let's pull it out here and see what we got. Okay, so we have like a little rogue, just plain white ribbon, something you would probably find like on packaging or something. Um, and then we have some seam binding, pretty good amount enough to at least, you know, line a page or something. And it's in this kind of brown beige color. Uh, it's in the color camel. That's was the um, packaging. Okay, and then we have this, which I just thought was pretty. Look at that. So, so pretty. And it kind of looks to me like it's hand embroidered. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it just looks, you know, like the stitching doesn't look super even. Um, I could be wrong, but if it is, I mean, that's gorgeous. And that took someone, you know, so, so much time. So that one's pretty cool. Okay. And then we have this little tiny lace. Nothing too fancy, but these are always good to have. I always love the creams or the beiges or white lace because you can really do anything with it. Okay, and then this is like a loop. This probably came off of something like maybe a skirt or something or a shirt. Still pretty cool. You can even um, coffee dye these or tea dye them or just do, you know, regular dye. Um, I've seen people use like food coloring before. Um, all kinds of things. Here's some more lace. Super, super cute. And then we have, oh, this one's cute. It's like, this reminds me of like a baby's crib, you know, just like this tiny, tiny little lace. It's just white. So, so cute. Good little string of that. And we have this electric green seam binding. Or it's kind of like a bright green, I guess a spring green. Still really pretty though. I don't have like a lot of greens or blue laces. Also, I don't have a lot of browns. Like I have beige and things like that, but not brown. And then we have another green. This one's more of like a moss foresty green, I would say. I don't know like the technical terms for colors very well. I just kind of go with them like it looks like 
like this looks like a raspberry, you know, <laughs> um, or like a magenta, I guess. But that one's cute too. This is a pretty good pool. Okay, that one's really long. Um, we have some blue seam binding. This one kind of has a scalloped edge, which is really pretty. It's like a navy, like a light navy color. Um, let's see, we have this green, just, I would say this is plain green. This is a green lace. It's actually cool. I don't think I have any like green lace. I think I have a few pieces of seam binding, but and then here's another green lace. This one's stretchy. Has some elasticity to it. I don't know if I'm showing you the right side. But that one's pretty cool. Um, and it doesn't take much too for junk journals. I mean, cause you can use like anything that's super small like this. Obviously it's not gonna line a page or line a cover, but you could use this in a cluster, um, you know, with like some scrap bits of paper. So always save your scraps, even like the little things like this, because they make good layering elements. So we'll put that in the pile. Um, we have this little trim. Very, very cute. I like this detail right here. It's kind of like a, you can see that like a mesh. That's pretty cool. What else? Okay, we have just some plain white trim with a little ruffle and a scalloped edge. Pretty good amount of that. I don't want to go too slow or too fast, obviously, but I know we have a lot to get through. <laughs> um, we have this little white one here. Also has kind of just like a little scalloped edge. Okay, we have this little piece. Oh, how cute. See, this reminds me of like a country cottage type, you know, like on the windows, like the drapes. Um, that's what it reminds me of, which is so, so cute. And then we have some white seam binding again. I mean, this is a pretty good bag, I feel like. Some more white. Some little string bits. Okay, put those aside. Ooh, this one has like a little flower detail and then the scallop, that's really cool. It's kind of like an off-white beige cream color. Hopefully y'all can see this. I can't see my phone very well. Like I said, this is a new setup. So I'm hoping it's all turning out well. <laughs> if not, I super apologize. Um, this one's a red. It's really pretty. It's like a bright, almost pink red. I, I'm gonna, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but maybe if I just lay it down, you can see it. I don't know. Super, super pretty though. I really like that one actually. Okay, a few more to go. We have this one. Very, very cute. Just a little tiny piece. That'll be good though for something. And then we have this guy. Oh, these are kind of stuck together. So this was the one I was like, is it embroidered? It looks like it is not. I mean, it's embroidered, but I don't think someone hand did this. But still, very, very cute. I really like it. It's what caught my eye. And then there's this one that has kind of almost like a checkered pattern of sorts. And there was this one in a bag. I'm curious why, but let's see. Ooh, look at that. Okay, they're the same. There's that one. That one's kind of cool. It looks like it has little bubbles in it. That's really neat. Something different, right? Super cute. So I think that was a great little pull. Let's see, was this the same? Yeah, that's the same. Um, I think that was a really good pull for $2. I mean, you get definitely a lot to work with. So let me attempt to get this all back in here quickly. And of course, I'll sort them later. I have all of my 
um, laces and trims sorted by color type. So like warm colors, cool colors, neutrals. Um, and then I have kind of like a miscellaneous one for like my sparkly trims um, that I can't get enough of. I love sparkly stuff. So, <laughs> okay. And then we'll save this bag for something else. Oh, I forgot this one. Put this one in as well. And we'll throw this in here too. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to move over to my left. Of course, this is also a continuation of the Austin Creative Reuse things. Um, so the first thing I got was this little container. I do not need more containers, but I did like that it's just like a little open container so I can still shuffle through things. It was 50 cents. Um, it looks like it was a dollar, but it's basically new and it's kind of sparkly. So I had to get that. And then moving on, I did get this other little basket and I think I'm actually going to use this maybe in my kitchen. Um, it's just a little plastic basket. It totally reminds me of like the 60s or 70s though, just the color in itself. Um, it was 50 cents, but I feel like I might put fruit in it. I thought that would be really cute. So I think it's going to go in the kitchen once I wash it, of course. <laughs> Let's just stack everything here. And then I picked up these. These were two ribbons. Um, this one was 50 cents and so was the other one. Um, but I really liked this red. So that's what it looks like. And hopefully you can see the shimmer in it. But there's little flowers and they have kind of like glitter and it's basically a full roll. So I thought this would be really cute to use in something. Um, I'm also collecting things because I will be making some like packs for my Etsy shop. Um, so I really like to collect unique things because, you know, not everyone has access to things like this, um, especially if they're older, um, you know, and I want to be able to bring that to people because I think it's really fun to have a little piece of history to play with. So, okay. And then this guy, it was also, like I said, 50 cents. But I just thought the scallop was so, so pretty. It is just a neutral trim, um, which is fine. I find that the neutral trims work better in most things um, than the colored trims. But I just thought it was really pretty. It totally reminds me of like an art deco um, style. So I had to get that one as well. And there's not too much left on the roll. I'd say still a pretty good bit though. I'll probably get a few uses out of this one. So there was that one. Okay. And then I have this. Let me take everything out. Um, this was 50 cents. Hopefully you can see it. It's just a little organizer. Um, but I thought I could put my finished journal cards in here for me to thumb through. And it'll sit nicely on my shelf. So that's why I got that. And um, I have a few items that were in what's called the bucket section. So there is a section um, of Austin Creative Reuse where there are still things that have are in usable condition and still kind of have value, but they've already kind of lived essentially their first life. So, um, you know, they've been used a little bit. They might not be as new and shiny as some other things. So they get put in this specific section and each thing in that section is 25 cents or you can fill up a bucket, hence the name the bucket section for $5. So um, I did find a few things in the bucket section. First off, this pen, which if y'all don't know, I always say it, I love Mary Inglebright. I just love the little patterns that she does. It's kind of a bit of nostalgia for me. I remember seeing them as a kid. Um, but let me see here if I have a piece of paper or something. Okay, I have these little sticky notes. This will work fine. But it's a pen, but on the back, it has a little roller stamp. So it actually rolls, if you can see that. It does the pattern, which I thought was so, so cute. I mean, I'll probably just use it as a pen. But I did think it was really cute that it had that 
little extra something. So I had to get this pen. <laughs> um, and then I found these. So this is just a cover. It says Farmer's Pocket Ledger. I thought this would be a cute little tip-in for a junk journal. Um, you know, you just put some washi on it and then you can flip it over. Someone could write something on here if they want to, just something fun. Um, but I grabbed that and then I found this, which I kind of like that it's really grungy looking, like someone already did the staining for me, so that's perfect. <laughs> um, but it's an old time card, which I guess it's not that old, it's 2002, but older time card. I mean, it looks like coffee or something was spilt on it at one point, but I've never seen, you know, I'm not that old, truth be told. Um, so I've never seen one of these. I thought this was so cool. Um, so I, I grabbed that. I thought that was really neat. And then I found these old lottos, which are amazing. I mean, look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, they are from, okay. It says, well, it says revised 1984. So I'm guessing it's probably around. That's how old these are. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but I thought these were so neat. There's like one, two, three, four, five, and then half. So five and a half, <laughs> but these will be really cool to incorporate. Um, in a journal, like things like this. I love looking for things that I can just stick in a journal, you know, cause people, they like to discover things and have little pieces of history. So these were a neat find. Okay. Have I talked your ear off yet or what? Um, <laughs> so I have these as well. Um, these I thought were really neat. They were 75 cents each and I was like, well, I have to get two. They had like a little stack of bundles of these um but they are actually and of course I had to like look through them a little bit um <laughs> but they are I think they're cigar labels so they're old cigar labels I don't know if they're old actually um but I mean look at how cool that is wouldn't that be neat on a pocket I mean I just thought it was super cool my dog is snoring I don't know if y'all can hear that hopefully you can't <laughs> Um, but I just thought these were so cool. Here, I'll kind of thumb through. I mean, look at that one. Doesn't that look like it belongs in a journal? I think so. Long live the king. I just thought these were so, so neat. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find some good ones here. So yeah, ooh, look at that one. That one's really, really pretty. So there's a bunch in here. Um, ooh, that one's pretty. So I just thought these would be really neat to put in a journal um, for decoration. And now I have an abundance of them, so. I'll never need any. And I might also put some of these in my little packs, my paper packs, like keep one and then disperse the other ones. Cause this is really cool, I think. Um, it's just something different to play with that's still paper. Um, so there is all of those lovely things. So now I'm gonna get my desk cleaned up for the next round of things. And that might be it, or we might have one more round, but either way, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So um, this is going to be the last of the Austin Creative Reuse multiple hauls that I have. Um, but I do also have a small kind of haul from um, the Goodwill Outlet store. So we'll jump into that one after I finish this. So um, let me move this to the side here. I did get this paper. Um, it is some handmade paper by Hero Arts, Naturals and Gold. It was a dollar. Um, but let's open it and look at it because I actually have not done that. So I really like handmade paper. I think it gives such a really neat texture to things. 
Um, and this is really neat because it has kind of like some glitter flecks in it, which I thought was super cool. So here is kind of like, I guess the white or the beige. You can see that really, really pretty. I just love that you can see like the fibers in paper. I just think that's really cool. That's what it's all about. Okay. <clears throat> so there's this one. This one has some like miscellaneous things in it. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Some twigs. I'm not sure. We have like a cardboard color, like a gray brown kind of. Um, we have this one, which has a neat texture. Look at that. Wow. That's super, super cool. I didn't know these were going to be like all different textures. That's kind of neat. Ooh, look at this one. Okay, this one is sticking a little bit. Ooh, that's like some ASMR. Listen to the crinkle. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed that. <laughs> um, but this is like some gold paper, which is cool. That's pretty neat. It almost looks like it's was spray painted on. That's my guess. I don't know. I don't make paper. Um, that would be really cool to do eventually. But I know the process itself is pretty strenuous. So I'm not going to try and overload myself. Um, <laughs> And then we have the black, which I think is really pretty. So these are neat. They're pretty good size. I could probably fit these in a journal as a signature. Um, so, you know, I'm happy with that. I mean, a dollar for all these handmade papers is a really good deal. Okay, we'll set those aside. I'm so glad I'm getting to do this haul. Um, because then that means I can put everything away finally. Yay. <laughs> it's been accumulating in the corner by my desk. Um, and yes, it's been bothering me. <laughs> so, okay. This one was a dollar. Um, it does say 1980, um, on here, but it's a coupon saving file, which I thought was so, so neat. And it has all the different, hopefully you can see that, but it has all of the different, um, categories, pet and baby products, soft drinks and juices, uh, health and beauty aids. I mean, I just thought that was pretty cool. But I was thinking, I've seen people make the like accordion books that hold ephemera. And this thing, you know, stretches pretty far. And I was like, what if I could do that with this to where it's just open and sitting flat? Um, I'd probably adhere it to like a board or something like that. Um, but then you could tuck things in here. I thought that would be such a neat idea. So I think that's what this is going to be turned into, possibly. Um, a little kind of ephemera holder. So stay tuned for that. Well, maybe I'll troubleshoot that on camera with y'all. Um, okay, I got this. This is was a great, great deal. It was $2. Um, it is the Happy Planner Paper Punch um, for the planner. So it's actually the perfect size for my happy planner um, that I do my plan with me videos. <laughs> um, if you're interested, <laughs> I need to get back into them, but you know, I'm back now. So, um, but I thought this would be really neat to add sheets of paper to my planner or fun things to my planner. Um, since it does have the capability to add things to. Um, so I got this like I said, great, great deal. Um, and it was two bucks. And then this one was a dollar. Um, it's a mirror, which I thought was really neat. I'm probably going to put this in my bathroom, um, just as a little decor piece, but it's, it's a, um, you, I guess you could hang it on a wall, but I'm going to have it just standing, but I just thought it was so cute. Um, let me take this tape off here. So we can fully look at it and appreciate its beauty. Okay, I'm sure you can see the camera, but you know, you can see my whole setup. Um, but I just thought that was so, so cute. So I got that. 
And then um, I also got this, it was a dollar. Um, I just thought these journaling cards were cute. Um, I thought even this would make a good back to where you could put something neat on the other side since it's one-sided. Um, but it also gives, you know, whoever has the journal, they can have some writing space. So I just thought these were kind of cute. They're just little scrapbook notions. Um, nothing super vintage, although it's, I guess, meant to look a little grungy. But I just thought those were, oh! A cute find for a dollar. Um, what's next? Okay, and I found these. They were a dollar, uh, not fifty cents. Um, they are just little paper bags. Looks like they're from World Market, but I thought they were very cute. They're little bicycles, and I thought I could fold them over so that way one side could be a little pocket um, in a journal. There's so many things you can do with paper bags, so. I won't dive into it, um, but I was really excited to find these. I don't have a lot of the top loader bags like this. Um, I have like more so envelopes, that kind of thing. So these were a neat find. Okay. Um, this is some Tim Holtz Ideology um, cabinet card frames, which is cool. They were 50 cents. Um, I don't think I've looked at these actually. And again, I don't see these in stores. So I don't know if they still make these or what. They're a little bit, but that's okay. Um, but they're supposed to be like cabinet card frames, which are so neat. And it has the back all decorated. These would be really great to sew around, I think. Um, you could also make like little display things in here and put some like cellophane um, to make it like a shaker card or something. I'm getting ideas. Um, <laughs> But I thought these were super, super neat. I wonder if they're all different. Let's look, shall we? Okay. Isn't that, I just love that art. That's so pretty. I feel like I'm just in love with old things. I don't know. But those are so cute. I love it. So we got those. And then I have a few papery things, paper pads. Um, so this one I got, it was 25 cents. The cover came off because it was only this much. Um, but I thought these were so cute. So they are double-sided. Um, but they're just nice. I feel like I could definitely work with these. I mean, look at those. You could cut those out individually and use them as embellishments or just use a whole page. Um, just kind of some nice little decorative pieces. I definitely probably don't need any more of, um, six by six scrapbook paper, but you know, if you find one you like and it's a good deal, how can you pass it up? Right? <laughs> That's what I say as I'm outgrowing my room. Um, <laughs> just kidding. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Um, this one was also 25 cents. Um, it's by the same... I guess company authentic which it seems like I really like their stuff um I guess they do like a vintage style let your inner domestic goddess shine that's great um there's some berries this one's more like I think cooking themed all the little ladies oh that's cute those are aprons that's so cute some vintage floral, little starburst. It's like a mod kind of look. We have some vintage utensil pattern. Definitely like some bright colors, but I think these are really neat. So that was a good little find. And then this one was 50 cents. <clears throat> it is Stella Ruby, I guess. Um, another six by six pad, but I just thought these were so vibrant. They are only single sided. Um, but I mean, look at that red one. That one is just gorgeous. Let's see if I can do, I feel like they're all just gonna start popping out. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. So there's that one. That one's kind of like, oh, yep, they're gonna pop out. 
That one's more just like brown. Some floral. That one's kind of cool. That'd be neat in like a grungy journal. Um, we have pink. And these do feel like maybe water got to them because they're a little, you know, there's bumps in them, but that's okay. No worries. I mean, look at that one. That one's so pretty. These would make great journaling cards. Great backgrounds. Even to stamp on, like if I did like a black stamp right there, that would look really pretty. So I got that one. I don't think there's, it's mostly just, yeah. So 50 cents for that one. And then this big boy was $8, but let me tell you, it was worth it. I mean, especially because paper pads, I feel like usually for the 20, uh, the 12 by 12, like scrapbook paper, they're at least $20 at like Joann's or Michael's. Um, so let me show you these because they're double sided and it's just so pretty, like very romantic looking. Hopefully, let me make sure you can see that. Okay. Yes, you can. Perfect. Um, but they're just so, so pretty. I mean, look at that. In the back, let's see if we can fully see here. There we go. I mean, I was just, I flipped through this and immediately I was like, nope, it's mine. And <laughs> put it in my cart. <laughs> um, and these are just great, beautiful pages. These would make really good center pages for a journal. Um, I usually like to put like something very interesting as the center page. Um, and it looks like you get quite a few of the same one. Okay, here's a different one. But look at that. Those are like, that would make great journaling cards. Um, very, very pretty. I love, she's beautiful. And the big florals. Okay. I guess there's like five of each, six. I don't know, there's a lot. Okay, here's the next one. It has just some plain paper on the other side. But these are just wonderful, wonderful background pages. And there's that other side. Okay. We have some pretty roses and some looks like faded text on the other side. Okay. I think this might be the last pattern. I mean, look at that. That's so cool. It's like a collage. Very, very beautiful. Oh, nope. I think we have another one. Nope, that's the same one. Okay, yeah, they're all the same. So, super neat find. I mean, for $8, usually I'd pay at least $20 for something this big. So, I was not upset about that price. That's a good price, I think. Um, and that is by Prima Marketing, Inc. Um, and I guess it's Tales of You and Me. That's the... Yeah, Prima Marketing. Um, so that is the collection, Tales of You and Me. So super, super cute. That is the last thing uh, wrapped it up from Austin Creative Reuse. So now let's jump into the other one. Um, let me grab the remaining things. <laughs> this is the last one. And then uh, we will be done with the haul. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. So I went and I grabbed um, the remaining things. Um, this is from the Goodwill outlet. So I'll go through the books first and then we'll go through the random little bits that I found. Um, so first up, I'll start with this little guy. This book, hopefully you can see here, um, is called The Bent Knee Time. And there's like an inscription, I don't know if y'all can see that, it says Ridgecrest and I'm guessing North Carolina. 1931 but it says question mark so I don't know 
Um, it does say right here 1918. So I'm guessing that's how old this book is. But I thought the book itself was so cute and so little. Um, I don't know. I might keep it intact just because of the age of it. Um, I have not decided yet. This would make a wonderful journal cover, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but I'm having just an internal dilemma. Um, but it looks like it's just kind of like a little daily scripture to read, which I thought was really neat. Um, I do love the text. Like if you see the 13th week right there. I mean, it just has that gothic, beautiful style to it. So... I'm not sure on this book. I'm not sure if I'll just hang on to it and put it in my collection um, or if I'll do something with it. I'll probably just keep it as is for now, but we'll see in the future. So I got that one. Um, I also got two of the Reader's Digest books. Um, if you're ever at a thrift store and you're looking through the books for journal covers, I highly recommend looking for Reader's Digest um, books. Usually they're in pretty decent shape and they make great journals. Um, I've made about three or four out of the Reader's Digest books and I just really like them. Um, they give you kind of a nice base, like the cover is usually decorated really nicely. Um, as you can see here, like just with some pattern. Um, and then they're not too hard usually to detach from the spine. And it's just a good size for a journal. It's not too big to where it would be hard to find signature pages, but it's also not super small either. Like it's it's just a good size. Um, so I personally, if I ever see these at the Goodwill outlet because the books are about 25 cents each, I usually grab them um, because I know I, I usually take them apart and then I'll use the covers at the very minimum um, for journals. So. I grabbed those two and then I did find, not like I need it, I, I am a lover of stationery and planners and all of the things paper, I'm sure as you've noticed, um, but I did find two little notebooks that caught my eye. Um, so there's this little one here. This one did have a sticker on it. I peeled it off. Um, it was from Half Price Books, but it is a cloth cover, which of course drew me in because it looks like a tapestry and I am all for that. Um, so it's just a little journal, but it's unlined. So I, I, I don't know, this could make a great drawing journal, just, you know, jot down some notes. Um, but I just thought it was a cute little journal and I loved the cloth cover on it. So I got that one. Okay, and then I got this one. This one's a little more beat up, um, but I liked that it had nice big pages for lining um, and they're perforated. So if I want to tear them out, um, I don't have to fight with the journal to do that. Um, and it's brand new. It's a good size. So, I mean, I'll probably use it eventually. I guess it was from Office Depot. So it's an Office Depot journal, but... I thought it was cute and it's a nice big size. I do like big journals, so I'm sure I'll use this for like grocery lists or something, but hey, you gotta use something, so. Okay, and then moving on to more of the vintage books that I got, which is this little stack. Um, so these, I believe they're both, yes. These are both, um, well, one is I think a little more math oriented and one is more science oriented don't ask me which one i have no idea um but this one is called the calculus of observations um, by whitaker and robinson and it looks like this is from let's see if i can find a date here reprint rep the last reprint date on here is 1952. so not you know, very, very, not 1918 or anything, but I loved the pages. I actually got it for the text. Um, the pages are itself hard to describe, but it's like a buttery, smooth, but not glossy page. Like it just feels very nice, the texture itself. Like I am feeling it and 
I, I don't know. It just, it drew me in. Like, I was like, wow, this feels just so soft. Um, but anyways, um, but as you can see, there's a lot of like equations and things that I thought that would make really interesting pages or collage page. Um, so I got it for that reason. I mean, look at that. I just think that looks super cool. I don't have a lot of like engineering books or anything like that. Um, or like math books. So I thought this would be kind of a cool addition. Not only that, but I loved the cover. Like I just loved the antiqueness of the cover. And of course it's in green, which is my favorite color. Um, so I was really excited to find that. And then this one, same thing. The cover is really nice. It's kind of like that linen cover. Um, this one, and I love that, like the Ex Libris type of thing. I think that's so cool. Um, so this one is 1946. That's the most recent printing on here. Um, but this one has like kind of some pictures. This one's more, I think, sciency, as you can tell. Um, but I just thought these pictures were so cool. And I mean, like, look at that. Like, it's like chemistry. I don't know. This just looked really neat to me. So, um, yeah, it's like a chemical compounds right there. I just think that's so cool. I'm a huge nerd, I guess. I don't know. So I got that one too. <laughs> um, and then this one is falling apart apparently, but it is a old recipe book. Um, I do have some recipe books, not as many as I thought I did. Um, and I saw this one, it has nice big pages. So I could fold them over if I would like to. Um, a lot of my other ones are smaller on the smaller side, but nice big pages. I was looking at some, of course you always have to like read some of the recipes. Some of them are insane. Um, but I mean, look at that. Who doesn't want to eat that? <laughs> Um, but I thought this would just be nice to use for the text purposes. That's why I got it. Dove Delicious. Okay, I think we're done with this book. <laughs> um, but I, I, I'm probably going to just take it apart because it is already falling apart. Um, but that's okay. I'm giving it a second life. So I got that one. And then... This one is Better Homes and Gardens. It's flower arranging. I absolutely loved the cover. I usually don't do large junk journals um, only because it's harder to find signature pages that will fold over and fit a bigger journal. Um, so I do tend to stay on the smaller side of things, but I don't know, I might do something with this cover. I just thought she looked so adorable. And the inside, actually has some nice vintage pictures of you know flora and fauna um some color photos as well so i'll get my use out of this somehow and for 25 cents i was like i can't pass that up i mean look at that one that one's a gorgeous picture so we'll definitely get some use out of that one and then last but not least this one's a kooky find um, this one is actually a, I believe it's a mechanics manual. Let me see. Auto, yeah, auto repair manual, 1976. And it is, it doesn't even have its front cover anymore. Um, the back cover is literally detached, but I just kept it like this to try and keep it together. Um, but I loved how old the pages look. And there's some really neat like little charts um, and diagrams and things. And I thought these would make really great um, either signature pages or like for journal cards. I would eventually love to make like a, I don't want to say manly journal, but you know, one that's not so feminine in its nature. Um, I think it's really easy to stray that way only because that, those things I feel like are easier to find. So this might be, you know, a step in that direction. I don't know. I just thought this was so cool. So I got that as well. And it definitely has seen better days. I imagine this was in some sort of like auto body shop back in the 70s. You know, people flipped through it every day. Um, you know, it's probably had itself a little history. So 
um, I'm happy now that I get to give it more history. So I thought that was cool. Okay, and we're done with the books. Now we're moving on to the last little bits here. So these guys are foldable magazine files. Um, and I thought I can always use these for like papers and things for organizing. So I got these two. They had a bunch of them, but a lot of them were not in great condition. And I don't need every single magazine holder that I find. So my cat just got up here. I apologize if she gets in the camera. <laughs> Um, okay, we are nearing the end. So I found these papers. Um, I usually don't buy singular papers, but I thought these were kind of neat. They were in a stack. Um, first off, there's this lovely vellum sheet that's like electric lime green, which is really cool. Um, and then I found this one, and these must have been in a pack or something. But I loved just the, I think, I don't know what this design is called. I was going to say Fleur de Lis, but I know that's not right. Um, but I loved the obviously silver. Usually you see a lot of gold, but not silver. So I thought that was a pretty cool find. Um, this is just some checkered, kind of like a sage green paper. And then we have two of these, which are just a cute little design, I guess. <laughs> More of like a turquoise maybe, um, or like a sea blue. I'm trying to like name them as best as I can. And there's this one, which reminds me of pillows for some reason. And then we have this one. It's like little scallops. So I thought those were cute. I'll add those to my stash of scrapbook papers. Um, I also found some envelopes. I found these little coin type envelopes um, that are small and are top loading. I thought these would be great for, you know, something to put on a page as a pocket that's kind of already done for you and you just decorate it. Um, I've seen people do a lot of things with these, so I thought that was a good one. And then also I found these, which are... I guess these are like check envelopes or deposit. I don't know. Um, but they're the ones that have the string. And then you wrap it around and tie it. Just like so. There we go. Perfect. So I thought those would be fun to maybe fold over in a journal. Um, who knows what I'll do with them. Like I said, there's so many ideas. So I got those as well. And then... We're almost at the end, I promise. Um, <laughs> I found these. So these are actually posters, um, which I thought was really cool. Again, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them because they are slightly like bulky, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip through them so you can see. And some of them are th on the same on each side. I think they might be. Oh, wherever you may wander, there's no taste like stones. <laughs> I've never heard of any of these. But I mean, of course, I've never, I've never been to Britain, so. So these are really neat. Who knows? Maybe I'll just put these in my kitchen. But I just thought they were cool. That one's really cool. I'm doing like a, a Western journal and I think that would be neat in it even though it's not technically western <laughs> the horse <laughs> that's it um I'll show you these so I thought these were neat I don't know just something different um if anything some of these things I'm like it's a collectible you know who knows And then that's the last one. So that was a neat little find. Um, I also found this little miniature tin. Don't ask me why I got it. I don't know. I don't know what I would do with it. Um, it is pretty old, but I thought it was really pretty though. I mean, look at the inside. The inside's like completely black. Definitely gonna have to wash my hands, but I thought it was really cool. I don't know. 
I don't know if I can even shut it all the way, but that's okay. Oh, I got it. Perfect. Maybe it'll just be a display piece. Who knows? Okay. And then I found these. These are some vintage little Santa garlands. Look at how cute that is. Oh, so, so cute. Let me fold them up a little bit. I just thought those were so cute. I don't know what I'll do with them. Save them. Oh, look at those. There's little snowmen. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. I think I like those more than the Santas. That's hilarious. Okay, we got some snowmans apparently. Um, and then I found two pieces of fabric. So I found this one which is looks like some peacock feathers. I just liked the pink. I thought it was really pretty. And then I found this one, which was a pretty little blue. But I just thought these might be cute for journal covers um, or to line the inside of a journal. So I'm always looking for cute fabrics, although I do have a small little stack already. So <laughs> I probably don't need it. Um, and then last but not least, I have this, which is not, um, for junk journaling. It's more for the kitchen, but it's a cute little kitchen towel. So let me, I just thought it was so cute. I don't know. It's probably from like Ikea or something, but, and it has these cute little kind of slow stitched edges that I just thought was really pretty. But that is it, my friends, on my haul. I really appreciate you guys um, taking the time, especially if you're still here with me. Who knows how long this video is going to be. Um, but thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to the ones who have been here since the very beginning. Um, if you are new here, please don't forget to sub subscribe <laughs> so you know um, when I release my next videos. Um, and don't forget to like this video, of course, if you do like this video. So I know that you like it. Um, but with that, I'll leave you guys to it. And until the next one, bye.